James Kaufman, World News Report, today, October 3rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA has modeled the CME and it is a strong one. They've modeled it for a direct hit on Earth. And if you look at the clock up here, they have it hitting on the 6th when I know it will be here late tomorrow. On the 5th at the latest. Ridiculous model, but that's what they're showing here. They're really showing two CMEs. It looks like they never modeled the X7.15. They've just recently modeled over the last hour the X9.1 solar flare. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's more to the story than this, so let's get after it. Over to Lasco C3, I want to point out several things. I want to point out that first, it looks like AR3848, which was reverse polarity, and we will check it again. Looks like it popped off first. There's that little planet again. Popped off first. You can see it pop off about 9.54 UTC time. Now, that's when you see it. It definitely popped off before you see it because the sun is this small circle here in white, and this is the lens cover to protect Lasco C3. So this flare has traveled some distance. Now, the large X flare pops off I guess about 1220, but we've already had a large flare from the incoming sunspot group that was reverse polarity, and we will check that. And then we should start seeing the plasma from the large eruption, and guess what? AR3848 goes off again, as you see here. Goes off again a second time. Now, then I'd like to show you all. See, it says 1518 on the time clock. 1530. So they removed two hours of time here. Nothing like removing crucial data so we can see how big the explosion was. I think y'all can see that AR3848 actually went off twice. One of them being a sympathetic eruption when AR3848. 3842 exploded with the X9.1 solar flare. I'd like to add, based on the lack of radio alternation and the X-ray D region absorption prediction model, the fact that we're not in an electron storm looking at GOES electron flux, and the fact that no proton storm whatsoever was indicated on our ghost proton flux makes me wonder if this was real or Memorex, and I mean both of the X flares. We should see both the electron count rise and the protons start to rise towards the space weather threshold here. So, I don't know what's going on. It never is as it appears with these governments. Now, one of the only reasons I think this may be a real situation, you saw the first X flare there, and I'm going to bring you to the second X flare that just occurred here. It's on STO, it's on Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager, and here you see the flare about to occur. First, there was a big film eruption, almost a charge, and there it went. Take a look at that again. And there's the charge of filament eruption of some sort, and there it went, bang. Now, one of the reasons I believe both these may be real is because we have among all the STOs, the first flare right there, not even the largest of the two, and I'll move it down here so we can see the next flare. There's first a filament eruption right there, and the flare is coming in right there directly earth facing 
almost like a flashlight pointed at us. Now Noah has put out a warning, and luckily they circled it for us because we would have never known where the flare occurred. Again, very surprising that it was only an R3 radio blackout. I thought it should be much stronger based on the situation. Though it was a short-term X-flare that lasted about 30 minutes. And they are expecting an impact here. And they're shooting for the 6th, if you ask NASA. I would say closer to late tomorrow into the 5th. Now, with a flare of this magnitude, we should be expecting a severe geomagnetic storm, especially since we have another X-flare that should really beat up our atmosphere prior to this one arriving, if we're lucky, and they don't arrive simultaneously. With that said, I've asked once before, go. Fill your tanks. Go buy some food that won't spoil if your refrigerator is not working. And go buy some food that you don't have to cook. I love the bags of granola that last forever and things of this nature. I love the summer sausage that doesn't have to be cooked and that you can slice and eat. There's a bunch of, bunch of stuff while it's still available that you can stock up on with a very long shelf life. And this is obviously becoming a very dangerous solar cycle. We haven't seen a flare like this since, I believe, 2002 or 2003. All right, with all that said, NASA has removed the flare from the M7.6 solar flare with a CME that was earth directed they've removed the X 7.15 solar flare that we had less than 48 hours ago and this is the flare that they predict with an impact for the sixth ridiculous ladies and gentlemen completely ridiculous a flare of this strength is coming off the sun extremely fast and it will be here much sooner than the sixth it's unbelievable that we pay these agencies tens of billions of dollars hundreds of billions of dollars combined and they can't get the first thing correct god bless each and every one of y'all please share and subscribe please stay safe get your tinfoil hats on and always remember, anything's possible in bizarro world. God bless you all.